To solve this question, we need to look for patterns of logic from left to right in our rows and from top to bottom in our columns. Let's start with our columns. If you look at our first column, we see a similarity between the color of our first circle and the color of the outer circle of our third element in that column. The same is true for our second column. The color of the first circle informs the outer circle color of the third element. So in our third column, if our first circle is gray, that means the outer circle should also be gray in our missing element, which helps us eliminate answer choice C, D, and F. Now for our row logic, if we look from left to right in our rows, we can see that the first two, um, the first two lines within the circle are combined together to give us the lines in the third circle. So we had this vertical white line plus this horizontal black line to give us the lines in our third element. The same is true of the second row, but it's very tough to see because we have the white line is added. However, the middle line, this vertical line is black. So it's going to blend in with the solid color of the rest of that circle. But the pattern of logic still tracks. So we can apply it to our third row to find our final answer. We have a white line horizontal and a black line vertical. So we need to find a black vertical line and a white horizontal line, which will eliminate us down to answer choice A, our correct answer.